I am an artist. I do calligraphy, Persian calligraphy. I do geometry and I do painting, illumination of the manuscripts as well. We are doing a geometry course based on the patterns of Shiraz. Shiraz is a very old city. It's famous for its garden, it's famous for its architecture, it's famous for its wine and it's for its flowers. And of course, it's famous for its poetry. We've been reciting to some of these poetries and listening to music with uh, where these po poems are getting recited and sang. We use the combination of these elements to create our paintings. We are particularly looking at two mosques in Shiraz. One is Bakil Mosque, the other one is Nasirul Mulk Mosque. Uh, they are go back to the uh, Zand era, which is about 300, 350 years ago. Um, you see more usage of pink and uh, red in these mosques because they are more or less more recent, more recent than Safavid. So um, the, the red and pink color might be a little bit more dominant. We have looked at uh, the um, prayer hall in Nasirul Mulk where it has uh, glass windows and the reflection of the light inside the prayer hall makes a really interesting pattern on the floor when the sun is in the right position which is usually at prayer times. It's a 12-fold pattern which we have drawn. Actually you might see it behind me, it's over there. and. Um, then we looked at two particular patterns in Bakil Mosque. They are based on four and eight. So you see the eight fold patterns. Um, uh, in in um, one of them has an eight pointed star, which we have learned how to draw and we're going to paint them later on. The aim of this course is to look at these patterns more specifically. And then finally, uh, uh, tessellate them and transfer them on a, a bigger piece of paper and come up with a beautiful piece of painting at the end which is relevant to painting rather than architecture. They are basically universal patterns. Everything starts from a circle. Circle is a symbol of heavens and a square is a symbol of earth. So it's the combination of the two that we see in all the temples and sacred places, including mosques. It's very interesting to see how we can develop from one line and one circle with a compass to create most beautiful patterns.